here at ACD, we try to provide compassionate care, high quality services, and we try to service as many people as we can. My name is Shalene Kassar and I'm the president of Autism Care Therapy, also the founder of Autism Care Therapy. All of our teams all have this same intention and compassion where they're here to make a difference. That kind of actual demonstrated compassion, again, seems like a given and it should be, but to see it sun so and demonstrated so exceptionally well is what kind of sets ACT apart to me. The first red flag that the parents should look out for is eye contact and in social interaction initiation. So from a very young age, is the kid um, looking at the parents, trying to interact, trying to get their attention, maintain their attention. We provide ABA therapy. ABA stands for Applied Behavior Analysis. We also have a speech therapist uh, on staff. The ABA services can kind of be described as those one-on-one -on -one individual care options, providing that the ABA therapy one-on-one -on -one, um, with the support of a behavior technician directly and then oversight from what's called the BCBA, um, finding that uh, treatment coordination and continued supervision and such. First of all, we obviously want to establish that the kid has autism. So once that medical diagnosis is established, then the next step is to request to enroll in the program. We organize a schedule, um, just how like a doctor might prescribe medication, we might prescribe you know, specific treatment hours. We always want the parents to know what we are doing here and allow them to be able to implement it over there with the least amount of prompting possible. Some of these children don't have language or their language delayed and that's very frustrating for them. If they are not already vocal and have a good way of expressing what they want that we help teach them a way. What really separates ABA kind of from just like maybe a typical classroom or school situation is really building, contriving, and following like the learner's motivation. The facility is set up so that we have a big open area, the gym is what we call it, that has things for the kids to play on, bigger things like slide, swing, trampoline. It gives them a chance to go out and be with the other kids. It gives us a chance to also have the children interact with each other. But then we have treatment rooms. And those treatment rooms are where the therapists will take the child to work on their specific programs. Here at ACT, we accept all kind of insurance, Medicaid, even the kids who don't have status and are not insured, again, they can come through the community clinic. And the parents still have the option to come to our monthly workshops and also have the option to get a free parent training from ABLE Certified Behavior Analyst. No matter what their situation is, there will be an option or a choice. No one will be turned down for sure. These children, even though they may have delay in certain skills and they may have challenging behavior, they really are children. And it's not very hard to see that they are really adorable in their own way. We want to teach them everything they need so that they can be successful and have happy, independent lives. When you start early, we can hope to make more progress and then hopefully have like as much independence into adulthood as possible. They have the right to have fulfilling life. They have the right to be respected. They have the right to reach their full potential. And our job is to help them get there.